all of the basic spin positions you will learn in figure skating as a beginner. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be going over all of the basic spin positions that you will learn as a beginner in figure skating going off of the free skate one through six levels. There are lots of different spins in figure skating, so I will not be going over every single type of spin that you can learn as a skater. In today's video, I will just be going over the basic spins that you will learn in the pre free skate level and the free skate one through six levels through US Figure Skating's Learn to Skate program. And these cover the three basic positions in figure skating. The three basic positions are an upright spin, a camel spin, and a sit spin. Really quick before I jump into the video, if you are new to figure skating or you're a beginner and you're confused by what I mean when I say the three basic positions in figure skating, here is what I mean. So in figure skating, there are three basic positions. So a lot of different variations that you see or fun and cool types of spins actually stem from the upright position, the camel spin position, and the sit spin position. I like to refer to our basic positions as our foundational pieces for building our repertoire as figure skaters. And when you compete in competition, in order to get a combo spin, you have to achieve all three positions or select positions in order to achieve the combo spin or level that you are going for. So in my case, for my combination spin, I must achieve my camel spin position for a certain amount of revolution. I must achieve my sit spin at the 90 degree or lower position for a certain amount of revolutions. And I must also complete three revolutions in an upper spin position. I can cover all of that in a separate video, but today's video is just going to go over all of the spins that you will learn in the free skate one through six levels. And all of these spins stem from the three basic positions, the upright camel and sit. So with all of that being said, let's get right into today's video. The very first spin that you will ever learn as a skater is the two foot spin. This one is in the basic one through six levels. And this is something that you will need to know how to do before you reach the pre free skate level, which comes before free skate one through six. Just like it sounds, the two foot spin happens on two feet. And this is the foundation spin for every single spin that you will learn in figure skating. This is going to teach you what it feels like to do a spin and where you should be putting the pressure on your blade in order to maintain the momentum of the spin and be able to spin faster. The two foot spin is considered an upright spin position. This is because we are obviously in an upright position. Our body is standing up nice and tall. When you do your two foot spin, you want to make sure you gather everything nice and close together to spin in one spot. This means taking our arms from far away from our body and bringing them in nice and close like we are giving ourselves a hug. This is going to help you spin faster and this is going to help you prepare for the next spin. The next spin you will learn in skating is the one foot spin. This is another upright spin position and it's very similar to our two foot spin. The only difference with this spin, instead of spinning on two feet, we are lifting up one foot while we're in the spin and spinning on one foot. When you are working on the one foot spin, I highly encourage skaters to start picking the direction they would like to spin. This is also going to correlate with the direction you would like to jump. Most skaters like myself will spin forwards towards our left shoulder and will spin backwards towards our right shoulder. If you are trying to decide which direction you would like to spin and jump, I highly recommend practicing your one foot spin and two foot spin, both going towards your left shoulder and towards your right shoulder. Then practice a waltz jump in both directions. I like to tell my students that whatever direction feels more comfortable to jump is the direction you should pick for both jumping and spinning. Once you have learned how to do a one foot spin going from your two foot spin in place, the next step is going to be adding an optional entry. And for the free skate one level, you must be able to do a one foot spin from the backward crossover entry. The next spin you will learn in free skate two is the beginning back spin. This is an upright spin and instead of spinning forwards, we're going to be spinning backwards. If you have gone through the basic one through six levels, you will have already started to work on a backspin. But at this level, this is just a refresher and you only need to complete one to two revolutions in the spin position. And this is just getting skaters comfortable with the feeling of starting their backspin. In free skate three, skaters will be required to do a backspin with their free leg completely crossed over and held for a minimum of three revolutions in this position. A lot of skaters tend to avoid working on the backspin because it's uncomfortable. And I highly suggest working on your backspin as soon as your forward one foot spins feel comfortable. The backspin is not only gonna help you do any backward facing 
relaxing spins. It is going to help you improve your air position for jumps and feel comfortable with that snap that is needed for the axle, double jumps, and even jumps like the loop jump. In Free Skate 4, skaters will start to learn the sit spin. In the previous levels, skaters have worked on all upright spin positions. In Free Skate 4, skaters will now start to work on the sit spin, which is part of the sit position. Just like it sounds for the sit spin, skaters will be spinning in a seated position, and this position should be 90 degrees or lower. However, in Learn to Skate levels and Free Skate levels, when skaters are first starting to work on their sit spin, they may not reach the 90 degree position right away, and that is completely okay. This is something the skaters will work on achieving over time. When you first start working on the sit spin or any spin, it's really about being able to understand and achieve the basic fundamentals about the spin. And as you progress, it is working on fine tuning details like getting the correct position and other things like spinning faster and working on difficult variations. In Free Skate 5, skaters will move on to learning the camel spin, which is the last spin position in our three basic positions in figure skating, and that is the camel position. The camel spin position is a bit difficult for beginners to learn, as this is not a seated position and not an upright position. In this spin, skaters will be in a tabletop position. The reason why the camel spin is one of the more difficult spins for beginners to learn is because with our upright spins and our sit spin positions, Positions, we are in a compact position where our body is close together. In our camel spin, our body is out with our head out in front and our legs straight out behind us, resembling a T shape. And because our body is not in a compact position, it requires a lot more core strength to not only maintain the spin, but to be able to get into the spin to start with, which is why a lot of beginners struggle with the camel spin compared to upright spins and sit spins. In Free Skate 6, skaters will start learning combination spins, and they will be required to do a camel sit spin combination, which is going from the camel spin position to the sit spin position, reaching a minimum of two revolutions in each position. At this level, skaters will also learn additional upright spin positions like the layback spin, attitude spin, and scratch spin. Those are all of the basic spins you will learn in the Free Skate 1 through 6 levels through US Figure Skating's Learn to Skate program. Before I end the video, the one thing I see asked on the internet a lot is what is the order that you have to learn them in, or is there a specific order? And the answer to this is yes and no. I've talked about this before, but if you are taking classes through a Learn to Skate program, the answer is yes. You do have to be able to do certain spins before you can do other ones because you can't complete that level without doing that. But when you are working one on one with a coach or in a group class, you will often work on a bunch of spins at once. Most coaches and instructors do stick to a specific order that they teach the spins in just because of their level of difficulty. All of the spins in figure skating essentially build off of each other, which is why they are stacked the way that they are in the free skate one through six levels. There is a reason why you learn the two foot spin before you learn the camel spin. And there's a reason why you learn a forward one foot spin before learning your back spin. Overall, if you're working on spins by yourself and you're looking for an order in which you should start to learn your spins, here is the order that that I recommend and I teach spins in going off of my own experience and how they are stacked in the free skate one through six levels. I obviously started with the two foot spin, the one foot spin. I moved on to scratch spin. I worked on attitude, which is kind of a layback. I, because of my back, I cannot do a layback spin position. I wish I could. And then once I felt comfortable with my scratch spin, I started to work on the basics of backspin. At the same time I was working on backspin, I started to work on my sit spin and camel spin. Eventually I moved on to difficult variations and combination spins, combining the camel, sit, and upright spin position. That is it for today's video. Let me know what your favorite spin is in the comment section below. I will leave all of the tutorials I have on my page for spins linked in the description box, and I will see you in the next video.